Hello folks and welcome back to the channel Farm Revel Extreme here. Here we are back on No Man's Land and for episode 31 I think this is. And we've got a lot of work to do today. First of all, get this grass cut up and make it into either hay or silage. We'll have to look at how much hay silage we've got. I think, to be honest, this could be hay, I think. It's got plenty of TMR for now. So, another buck to do of hay would do us very good. So, what I'm going to do is just get a worker off here. That's because we've been spending a lot of money. We bought some new equipment, we bought a new planter. Same one as this, the Great Plains one. Just because it's so versatile and so useful. But we're in March, so that is the planter window for oats, sunflowers and a few other crops. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that there. You could potentially do sunflower, create a field, get sunflower, get sunflower oil. Because if we do that, harvest that in October, then we could do a winter barley and harvest that in June. No sorry, July. Or do we add Horosite in August? So, may create a field over there on our new plot of land. But yeah, I've got a lot more to do, and that's why we've got two, two of these planters. Because what we need to do is a headland of our mega field. Four plots of land until this is, so, this is going to take a while. So, I'm thinking, get a headland done. Self to work her on one, and then I'll do the rest with the second one. May hire a worker for the second one because this requires a lot of work and especially to roll in. The roll is going to be fun to do as well, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done today because that will be ready to harvest in July, and I just want to have a month of harvesting just so that we're not too close because we got barley also to do. I think that's in June so we'll have a lot of straw coming because we are out of straw we are for animals. We'll just cut this tree down. There we go. Just shut it over there. I think we do have a few trees here that we can use for sawmills that we've been worrying about. So we can go up to here. Yeah, yeah, there's no time we can use these, but I don't want to because I want to keep that sort of shadow of the shop to our fields of trees. So we may go and plant some more, but who knows? So I think. Best thing do is do a quick time lapse of getting the heads done, and then we'll go and have a look at all at the shop.
boss workers on the way with cedar number one or planter number one we got planter number two so this cost us what under 40 grand it was also i finally decided to buy the 120 foot boom that's been filled with herbicides and also just a bit of a little workhorse around the farm things like losing traders with the big bags i saw the guy go and buy the merlot p41.7 and it's sort of nice it's not quite a jcb yellow but it's very close to that so the weight was an issue to figure out eventually we decided on three tons first of all we bought three and a half too heavy bought two and a half all right three was okay but this in the front wheels however with this big bag winch at the front that's half a ton so we can go up to a three ton at the back uh, it's got four wheel steering and general good control it's got a seven foot boom so I can do really good loads and yeah I'm happy with this so this will be a nice little addition to the farm doing real well now, pretty much almost done, so that'll be done in a sec, and we'll just get picked up whenever. And also, we've got to get this back down, because this needs to start working. And I've used the claws, so that's the biggest tractor we've got on the farm after the fence. That's just, look at the horsepower differences, so... Class 355, Fent 517. But all the others are 300 or so horsepower, so. You know what? It was worth it. I even may sell the 8410. It's not worth much, I know, but. You can do it with another large tractor, I think. So the Walsh workers doing the north section of this field, or south section. If I say we start doing the east side. Yeah, the workers shouldn't have too many issues because I did do a good headlands. A few issues with hitting the edges of the boundaries and that, but I think get the worker on the way there. If we do a straight section first of all, then we'll get the worker off doing that. So I do want to clear some trees, we did have to cut some down, I was in the way, so we'll get those cleared off with the case. And we'll drag them, that's why we bought the winch system, so if we don't have a front loader tractor that's free, at least then we can use this. As work, just work in the field, and either winch it, yeah we can get the tail hander in that, load it up, but we see the purpose of it and the worth of it, so that will bother that too much. So I'm thinking if we do this, so that's what we're done on that, that's good. And then we just turn around. I said the worker going up and down here. No, not an angle. Straight. And then when it gets up to here, I don't mind if it goes right or there. If it goes right, it'd be better than that we're going to do this part of the field. Then do this. And then do over here afterwards. But yeah, I'm probably going to need to fill up these at some point. So, maybe worth getting a auger wagon in, perhaps. So... I know we in the shadow look at one for the whole Shigabee cup. But yeah, they're just so expensive. Even like the cheapest one. Which was on offer actually, funny enough. 76 grand. And that requires our 300 horsepower tractor, so pretty much the case. Or get that. That's a bit too big for us, so. 
how's the worker doing on that? 43% there, so I think it'll be fine. Let's just see how I'm going to go right or go left. Alright, I'm going to go there fast. You know what? That's fine. I'm not too fast. Just get started before the fan gets to you, please. It's going to be close. And start now, please. There we go. It's going. It's going to hit. Phew. That was a close one there. So you know what? I'm going to leave those at it. Actually sure. what? Let's go out to John here since that's the closest. We use this instead. See I've got a few trees to pick up so let's go and grab. Okay left it there, that's good. Also I wonder where I left it too. And let's go and drag some trees over. And here we are, so we need to chop this one down as well. And that's the one of the heavier ones as well, so. Come on, let's go and grab you. Just chop down, please. Yeah, we'll get the some grinder or the wood chipper thing. And we'll get rid of all these stumps at some point. But yeah, just gotta clear these off. Drag them over, then once we get them over to the sawmill, we can spin them up even further to get on the most of these rich out of these. Get rid of you. That's tree number one. So far, I'm seeing any messages about the workers, and I'm hoping they stay alright because I do not want to deal with them. Get the winch. There we go. So I think we can pull three or four trees. I'm not sure if there's a weight limit of how much you can pull. We'll find out now. So, go and drag you over. Oh no. Yeah, I think it's just a number of logs and that. Lift that up. And let's go this way. Well, if you do need to be careful, it's not distracting the workers with these, so... But yeah, this week got some good little logs for the sawmill. The first bunch will go to the main sawmill. And then any other trees afterwards, I think, could be worth cutting down. So I can see a couple here. Yeah, because we just got too close to the forestry area, so... Okay, that may be an issue for us. Two heavy 6.6 .6 tons. Last four. Uh, yes, yeah, so you know what? There was a big demo, I was sure of that. So let's go and drive these over and then we'll pick up the next one. So that is the first bunch down. And let's grab the second lot. So just thinking. These, that, that one, and that one, that one, and and that one. No, no, that won't be fine. Yeah, that's quite close. So, yeah, these two and three. So, we'll take the last one over, and then yeah, get the rest done. So grab you, get your hooks on. Cause yeah, after this, 
those other trees can go over to the mini mill. And also I do want to start clearing this area out as well. Been on about for ages, on and off, but I want to move in this down a bit and just create a dirt track up here. What I'm gonna do here, I'm not too sure. I have to to just leave it as it is. Perhaps plant a couple more trees here on the edge, get rid of the texture and that. But you know what, let's do that now, so First of all, we're going to need grass. Oh, let's go for a touch crop then. Can't do that because that's not on our property, so. Oh well, so plants. There we go. Bit of meadow there. Aussie. Yeah, that's going to be perhaps cleared up in that. But, yeah, in terms of what we're going to do as well later on, we need to get those pallets loaded up and sold. And there's some flour over here that I did unload manually. Just to, again, it was filling up the production, so... We sell some, but not all of it, because we do want to get another production chain in. May have a look at that in the next episodes, either whether it be this month or next month. But yeah, a few pounds of flour there. But also, as of recording this on Monday, no Tuesday morning, glad to hear that Nancy Boy is actually planning on to put his mods back on Mod Hub. As far as what can gather at the moment, it's not doing any more new projects that uh, hasn't been completed. I do I just cut that one up, I didn't want to do that. So that means we'll hopefully see American Falls on Mod Hub soon. Not sure when. But yeah, I'm going to start a new Let's Play series regardless. Well, okay, 26,000 years for all that in total. Including what was in there, didn't actually check. I am going to still do a new Let's Play series of today. I'm going to work on getting the second Let's Play going. And it's going to be by spring because this will be out after that episode will come out. Because that's like I have recorded episodes 28, 9, and 13. And this is episode 31. Get a lot of batch recording done because, again, last weekend, missed. The uploads over the weekend. Could have done it on Sunday if I wasn't too hung out. But you know what, regardless. Okay, what's the work we're going to do here? I was going to let the worker do its thing first before we do anything. Because I do not want to get involved, so yep. We'll get these trees cut down, move over to the meat saw mill, and then we'll start getting those pallets sewed up and sold. Actually, it's all coming along very well. We need to buy an auger wagon, which I've just installed for mods, and most of it's done. Workers run out of seats over there, but that's not going to be an issue for us. We'll just buy the auger. So that's this part done. This is going to be done next, and we'll just get the worker doing this. Our worker will have no issues whatsoever doing this at all, so there we go. 
into position. There we go. I sure think it'd be worth getting the cloth going on the road in. Sure, why not? So. Yeah, perhaps we should do the, a headland first of all, because I see this being a problem, so. But I'm not going to, let's just see how it goes. So, do we have a free tractor? Yes, we do. We have this, so we'll take you to the shop. Timber's over, and that's 20,000 litres of timber in there, so not too bad. Ooh, it can't go through there. That's densely packed, so. Let's go to the shop and buy an auger wagon. And there we go. So, yeah, got two options some two cheap auger wagons, less than three grand. So, let's have a look, shall we? So, under augers. Oh, we could actually go with this one here. Didn't realise that. Possibility, but either of these also got the Parker Green Cart or the Lizard Tanker 10,000. And I'm thinking a slightly cheaper and better capacity, so sure, let's go with those. All the lights. And let's just see, so... Buy a bunch of seeds, so... And there we go. So, I just want to test this a sec, so... If we open you... How far does it go out? Decent enough. And if we say. That's for the John Deere. What's that adjusting? Oh, it's just steering wheel column in there. So, no adjustments on this whatsoever. Well, that's fine. Let's grab our Merlot and put it on the job for the first time. Let's close that down. So let's get it loaded up and we'll take it over to the planter and get the seeds refilled. Oh, yeah, no problems whatsoever lifting it. in it. Oh yeah, this is so useful for us. Obviously this is season of lime. It'd be interesting to see how it handles the lime in that. It's handling this fine, so you know what? I've got no complaints. Just makes my life so much easier to get this all done. And there we go, 8,000 litres. That's more than enough seeds for what we need. And that's used it too maybe too tall for the cows. Because we could use this to feed the cows, possibly put TMR in here if it accepts TMR. Actually, we can have a little look. Get you on a path there. Anything in the used market? Not to our interest. Ah, right, so no, it doesn't do TMR, so it does all your crops now. 
some grapes, olives. So yeah. Yeah, well that's a shame, but maybe there's more version I could use TMR. Uh, most of, yeah, the Homer one will, of course. Uh, of course, but... Yeah, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest, so... Actually, is it going to be tall enough? May not be tall enough... ...to reach over. Semi does, but not really well. Oh no. Come on. This is the tires, I think. How much of a bad driving? There we go. Get that filled up. Underway. So you know what? Well, I'm actually happy with that. So these workers doing that. I'll swap this over here somewhere out of the way. Got careful to break in. How is the case doing? All things considering? Not too bad, actually. Done a decent job already. I'm just going to let that smash out over time, but now... Need to work on this, so... Is there a spare view? Oh, yeah, that's you free. What for now? We'll take these pallets off. Chuck them off. Sell them in a bit. No rush to sell some stuff now. But yeah, we need to start clearing this up, so. So, yeah, here is perfectly wide enough. I may want to cut through a bit further. Even if it's like a little. goes up here and straight down a little straight away. Maybe worth doing that. Okay, that's gonna be in the way. If I try to get rid of small trees first of all, I will just work with then what we've got. Also we will need the sump grinders to get rid of these little bits of um, stumps. So there we go. Put you there. This one. On. There we go. But yeah, the reason for this is just make the trek here a lot smoother. Yeah, perhaps we should have done this after, well, between just being harvested in that, but, oh well. You live and you learn. So there, there. And all these are going to go into the normal sawmill. There we go.
grab you. But yeah, let's go and grab the tree harvester. Because we will need that to cut some of these up. And that's just doing that little shirt there, they will move you over. And I just went past it, didn't I? Yep. Oh, a couple of logs here I forgot to pick up. Oh well. We'll pick these up in a bit. Get those all cleared off. So we can try to plant sunflower in this field today. Or somewhere on this plot then. That'd be useful, but or about it in a bit. There we go, there's the harvester over here, so Yep, is this tree here be one? But to pause with a lot of the trees now, I'm just thinking about like these small ones especially. Well mainly those ones. Just get a trailer, wood chip them and sell them. And what we get for them is what we get for them. Because it didn't really seem to be worth all that much of a hassle. So, yeah, very worth it, I think, personally. But. Let's get a lot of these to chop down. Yeah, we've made off ball plot 50 yet, did we? Or no? No, we haven't bought plot 50, so we're still working within our boundaries. Uh, let's go and find that boundary. This one's going to be okay. Yes, it is. Then, actually, what we could do potentially is. Wait until the harvest is done. Get a path that goes up here or along here on the edge. And then we could actually extend this field a little bit more, make it more squared, perhaps. Yeah, I think that'd be a good option for us. Yes, but it's too bloody big. Oh, uh, anyway, oh well. There we go. Just find that mark to get it chopped down, but... So yeah, what I'm going to do is just spend a bit of time off camera, get this all chopped up. And then I'll get loaded on trader. Worker's almost done with the um, planting, so by the time we resume, maybe most of all may be done, not too sure. And just like that, a very substantial load of timber. And already a lot of this has been cleared off. Got some big old logs here and there to get rid of. But yeah, I'm not going to take too long to finish the rest of these off. And to be honest, apart from that big log which we will transfer over to the main sawmill, worker, actually just doing alright. Rest of the scene is done. And it's literally just the last little bit rolled in. But yeah, that will get put over to the main sawmill. As I was saying. But, we can use this to transfer that big log, wherever I left it to, chop down somewhere, there it is. Just pull you out of the way. And just chop you down into a few pieces. Something a bit more manageable. There 
There we go. And another section over there. But yep, we'll get us all transferred over. Ah, right, that was. I was wondering what we were getting tracked on. And it was just that. Fair enough. But yeah, let's get these over. Get everything all sorted and loaded. And then, yeah, I think end of the day, we'll clear that area across the farm. Our new plot land all the way over there. And yeah, I think we should sell the wood chips and that. Ain't gonna be a lot of money, I know, but something is better than nothing at the end of the day. And just a few bits we need to do, and best we get it done is just a little quick time lapse. So, yeah, get this all done. I'll see you folks in a few moments. To you. The last produce loaded, so we got a few bits on here. Timber has been sent over, sent a couple logs over there to the main sawmill, and a few, well, most of it went to the main sawmill. So the main sawmill has got 67,000 years of timber, and the mini sawmill has got 39,000 liters. Oh, why are we sending furniture? Do not want to do that. Whoopsie. But yeah, let's go and sell these. So, yeah, it's for being a bit cheeky, it's for a time stand bit. So, I just want to get everything done off camera. So, all the rolling is done. Hands are on the fertilizing on bits of the field that needs fertilizing. If we have a look here. Apologies, I'm slightly hitting that there in recording. But yeah, as I was saying, fertilizer hasn't been done yet on what needs to be done. So if we have a look here, most of the fields have been rolled 
fertilizing it's just grass fields and this bit here in the middle that needs fertilizing and some sections here and there and everywhere so what I may do is just get a fertilizer spreader and just go over all of them I think with the weeds strangely nothing's popped up in the cotton yet so I'm not too sure on that so we do have weeds on right yeah weeds are on okay that explains why we get away with crop destruction that's been off so weird but anyway so let's go and sell these produce so let's just go to here Go get a bit of extra cash in to compensate for all the money that we spent on the landscaping. So 44 grand, 45 basically. That ain't too bad actually. Still enough money for what I want to be planned. Put the new production chains going here. So I'm thinking I ain't gonna go with what productions yet, yeah, but I think what we can do is quick bit of landscaping no not animal mud dirt we say go up so the square is off just a bit there we go and then square this off I want to start looking at getting like the gold production in. So, gold production and a few things like, like involving the sugar and all that. So, yeah, that's like expansion over there. And if we head over here, so turn around. So, this is what we've been up to. All the trees have been removed, stumps have been removed, and I sort of left it on a nice little channel so it goes a bit of a bump down. Perhaps I could try to flatten this out a little bit more. So, we say the level terrain. Like so, there we go, something like that, perhaps. And then just. Soften all out. Okay, there is a stunt there. That's a bit annoying. Just try and soften everything. Just get it all nice and smooth. And not much of the field has been removed. We did actually remove some bits here and there, but you see the plan is send the field down on the edge of this dirt path. So when we bring our equipment in and around, we've got this space here to turn around and maneuver. Actually, what? Just level that back. There we go. That's better. Uh, a little bit of softening. There we go. So that's nice and smooth. So yeah, it does involve going up a bit, up a little step. Maybe work on like getting this leveled to here. Then just have a soup going up, but overall, not too bad. We'll give it a little test drive. It's something like the John Deere. Turn the lights on, yeah, just to sort of show how it feels and what I'm on about. Yeah, it's little details like this, which bit... we're right at the point now where we can start being real finicky with small details and get away with it. 
But the width of this, not an issue. Even with a trailer load. So in theory, the field will be here, so we go sort of up and round and sort of bank in and then just go straight on up. Okay, that is a bit of a sudden dip there. We may try and work on that if we can, but overall I'm not too worried. You know what? We've got these. Let's sell these. There we go, because we don't need them anymore. And whilst we're here, just felt the case as well. Could do again, we're in this small cultivator as well. Let's go to the shop and sell this quickly. And there we go. Let's go and quickly sell this. Get a bit of money from the, from the herb side perhaps, but overall I'm not too worried. So, oh well. So yeah, made a little bit of money back, not too much, just a bit of change here and there, but does no harm for anyone. And unfortunately, we're starting to lose the light, so I doubt we'll have a chance to do any preventative spraying like we did with some of the sugar beet, so I guess we've got to rest up and see what tomorrow brings, but anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below, if you want to share something, please be my guest, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider, what you choose to do, if you're going to say, but for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.